Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing a first impression of the new Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. Now, a few days before Valentine's Day, this was leaked on Look Fantastic and a few creators were able to snag it before it was taken off of the site. It's like the ghost palette that never existed. I actually found this palette on Feel Unique, which is a Sephora UK site and I purchased it for $64.80. Now, it did come completely shattered in the highlight section and then my foil shade Affinity was broken as well and I had to repress both of those. And actually, the little flap that covers your cream products also broke as well. So I have to be a little bit careful with this. So I was able to salvage my palette and repress some of the, the foil shade and also the cream highlight shade. I did contact Feel Unique and they gave me a full refund for it. I did purchase this for $64.80 on the Feel Unique site. Now with UK pricing, they also include taxes in the actual price of the item. So when you pay $64.80, that is what you get. I did get free shipping with this as well. And because it came broken, they actually replaced it for me because there was none left in stock. So if there are any links, I will link it down below for you. As far as the packaging goes, it comes with a full-size mirror and it is this beautiful reflective pink. And she did have some eye face palettes that came out late 2021, I believe, or early 2022. And they had the same concept where it was the face and then the eyes, which I think this is such a like, whoop, and there goes the plastic. It is such a travel friendly idea and it's actually pretty small in size. Just to compare the two, this is the Midi Love palette from Natasha Denona, the original Love, and then you have the Love Face palette. So it's actually a little bit smaller. It does come with five eyeshadows, two cream products. The eyeshadows, there's four mattes, one shimmer, and then there is a cream highlight and a cream blush. So let's get into the application of this, and then I will do swatches for you comparing to some of my other really like Valentine pink feeling palettes, especially with some of the other Natasha Denona palettes that she has released through this like whole love collection. So we have the Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. This is a 2023 release, part of her whole love collection. It does come with a little <laughs> tray cover so that your powder products do not get mixed in with your cream products. Now, mine did come damaged. So we're going to use the cream blush. It actually has no shade in it, no actual like name shade, and it's this shade right here. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be using, this is actually my e.l.f. airbrush stippling, and I use this for all my cream blush products. And there is a really nice mirror in here, so we're going to put this on. Maybe we just need to, like, really dab into this. Now, I have used some of her cream blush products before, which will be... It is blending really nicely. It definitely has almost like a pastel cool tone vibe. I don't think that this would vibe very well with somebody who was deeper skin tone, like at all. Like if you just look, I am very pale skinned. I live in upstate New York and my climate is like really dry right now because it's the middle of winter. So very, very pale skin. This is what it's looking like right now. It did build up really nicely. I look blushed, but this blush shade honestly reminds me a lot of like that cold girl blush that everybody is raving about right now. Is it stripping? It is stripping away my foundation a little bit on my nose. I like doing the whole like cold girl makeup look. It is really pretty though. Very like pastel looking and it did blend really nicely on the cheeks too. Did strip away a little bit of my foundation on my nose though. So we're just gonna pat this in a little bit. Now we're gonna take a Cleona Cosmetics. This is a DF06 brush and we're gonna use that cream highlight shade. Now I had to repress mine so I have to be like really careful. I actually ended up taking 
a paper towel and pressing it with my fingers first to really make sure that all the product was in there. And then I used a, my kids had a toy car. So I took it, it was a wooden car and it was square and it fit perfectly. And I just like pressed it in on top of the paper towel. So I'm hoping that that really just helped press it in, make sure it doesn't move anywhere. And then I ended up doing the same thing with the shimmer shade as well. There's like a handful of reviews on this palette, like five maybe. And I have seen there were quite a few people who received it damaged from Look Fantastic. And I can link some of those videos in the description box down below for y'all. So this is what the face is looking like with the highlight. That's really pretty. It's very natural, very subtle. Like I could build it up if I wanted to, but I definitely think it's one of those face products that you, you can just really get a really beautiful natural glow with it. I'm just going to touch up my face with my bronzer. This is just the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. I wanted to wait to put any kind of powder product on until after I'd put the cream product on. And the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer, this is in 250 light. I'm gonna take my Sigma E24. This is a diffused blender. It's stained, it is not dirty. I can't get the blue off and it was from the Blend Bunny Lure palette. <laughs> So we're going to take the E24 and Esme, Esme is the shade right here. It's this poppy pink berry tone. It's not really berry though. It's like a poppy pink. We're going to pop this, make sure my lids are okay, and pop this right on the crease. And we're not tapping out any of the shades right now. We're just, we're going to go in with a very pigmented brush first. So we'll pack it on and then blend out the edges. I'm thinking like a halo eye today because there's some, there's this dark Esme pink, there's Ico, which is that plummy purple. I like the way that this is packing on. It's really easy to blend. Natasha Denona shades are like easy to blend in general. So no problem there. And this is the same great Natasha Denona formula, which is good. Okay, so this is what Esme on the face is looking like right now. We're going to take a detailed brush from Morphe, and this is a really small like crease brush, but we're gonna use Ico, Aiko, Ico, and it's that plummy purpley shade. I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. Let's see how well the dark purple shade blends. There's a lot of kick up in the pan, so we are gonna tap that off. Okay, so what I did was I took it across and I really blended it in with that Esme shade. I think that looks really pretty. It diffused really well, really pigmented. There is quite a bit of kick up in the pan that I noticed, and I don't remember her shades really ever having that sort of pick up in the pan, so that is something a little bit different. Overall though, I do like the way that this is blending. It looks really beautiful. We're gonna take an angled, almost like angled brush, and this is like a floofy brush. We're gonna take Giddy, which is like, almost like a peachy mauve shade. That one also has a lot of kickback in the pan. And we're going to blend the edges. Very, very pigmented shade though, wow. Very easy to blend out. And then I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna use Esme. and just blend right up here. Blend all of these shades together. An alter ego number seven, and we're gonna use Juliet, which is that like pastel pink. And we're also going to blend all the way up pretty much to the brow bone. So this is what the eyeshadow is looking like so far. We've used every shade besides Affinity, which is that rose gold shade. So let's look at this and pop this right in the middle of the lid. Ooh, it's like super sparkly. Like on the lid, it's just like pizzazz. Like there's a lot there. 
And this almost feels like a cream shade in the actual palette. Like it's a little bit soft for the type of shade that it is. It almost feels like a cream. Now let's do the lower lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of Esme, which is that pink shade we started out with, and just go along here. This is an alter ego number nine, and I am tapping off the excess because I don't want this to be like super papau. Because sometimes when you do a pink shadow, it makes you look like you have pink eye. That is super pretty, like very dramatic for me, but that's okay. Right. Here's the completed look with the Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. Overall, I do like it, but I also feel like some of these colors are in the Natasha Denona like Original Love Palette. So let's dive into some of the love palettes that are in her whole love collection. And I Then I also wanted to do some swatch comparisons with the Sigma Mini Enchanted Palette. This is a seven shade eyeshadow palette, very, very similar to the Love palettes for sure. And this one you can actually find on Sigma's site, but their quality is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the Sigma formula. Their shades are just so pigmented, easy to blend. They're very much like the Natasha Denona formula. So there are all the swatch comparisons and actually a comparison from a non-Natasha Denona palette. If you guys have even like the larger Enchanted, you might be able to find very similar dupes with that as well. Overall, first impressions, I think this is a beautiful palette. I just feel like the blush shade probably won't work on somebody who is a little bit like darker toned. I don't think it's going to show up at all. It might look chalky or ashy if you're a little bit more deeper toned. I think on the fairer skin people, it looks really, really nice. The Natasha Denona formula is absolutely stunning, easy to blend out. Again, if you have, if you have some of these Natasha Denona Love Collection palettes, then you actually don't really need the Love Face palettes. And if you find that you would use this a lot, then maybe you do need it. Here it is, the Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. This is supposed to be coming to U.S. stores sometime in March. I will link down below any retailers that do currently have the Love Face Palette in stock, even if it's at Feel Unique, which is like a UK site. Look fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe if you guys want to see more, and I hope I get to see you in my next video. Bye!